Hello, this is Janet from Servant for His Glory 44, and this is a video to intercede for the souls of Puerto Rico. And so if you've come across this video, I would kindly ask that you consider standing in agreement with me for the souls of Puerto Rico, as I believe that when we come in unity, there's there's so much power in agreement. As in Matthew 18, 18, it says that if two or more agree on earth as touching anything that should ask, it should be done of our Father which is in heaven. And so the Father has prompted me to make this video. And I'm so glad you are here. I'm going to go ahead and start. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you, Lord, that you are so kind and loving. You, Father, give us chance after chance to come to you. And we intercede, Father, for those that their name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life in the territory of Puerto Rico. And we ask that you forgive us of our sins, Father, every sin, every action, word, intent of our heart that doesn't line up with your word, your will, your calling, your purpose for our lives. We ask you to forgive us of secret faults anywhere, Father, any offense, unforgiveness, bitterness, Lord, anything that we've held on to that would give the enemy any type of foothold we repent for it and we ask that you purify our hearts and our minds you said in first john 1 9 if that if we confess our sins you are faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from unrighteousness and we receive that right now and we put on the whole armor of yah the breastplate of righteousness the girdle of truth the sandals of the gospel of peace the sword of the spirit the shield of faith and the helmet of salvation and we thank you. We lose the blood of Yeshua over the listener. We lose the blood of Yeshua over this prayer. We lose the blood of Yeshua over this channel. We lose the blood of Yeshua over the uh, souls of Puerto Rico. And we just thank you, Holy Spirit. Ask that you'd help us to intercede for those that their name is not written in Lamb's Book of Life in Puerto Rico. We ask you to give them eyes to see, Father, ears to hear, and a heart that's softened after you. Father, we just lose angels. Lord, we ask you to send angels, Father, to minister to the people that their name is not written in Lamb's Book of Life. Father, we ask that you would arrange divine encounters, even glimpses of hell or eternity in the hearts and minds of the people so that they would be receptive to coming to you, Father, with an urgency, with a quickness. We, re we repent, Father, on behalf of any sin that they have done father we ask you to pardon iniquity and to reveal truth to them lord we ask heavenly father to give them a, a conviction a holy conviction to come to you with all of their heart mind soul and, and their um with their father their whole heart lord and we ask heavenly father that you would just convict them of sin and help lead them into all truth and with a repentant heart father and as we pray, we ask Holy Spirit that you guide us into how to pray for those that their names not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Teach our hands to war and our fingers to fight for the kingdom, Lord. Not just for ourselves, not just for our families, but for the kingdom, Lord. We thank you for the opportunity to do so. Please give us a servant heart. Father, we're exercising our faith and we're believing for big things. Father, even one soul that would head to eternity because we took 10 minutes to pray. It's just so profound to me, Lord. I just thank you, Father, for the opportunity to pray. You said the prayers of a righteous man avail much, and it's not a righteousness with the righteousness of grace that allows us to do these things and to come to you. And we come to you, Father, to plead mercy and grace on the souls of the area of Puerto Rico. And we ask, Father, that your hand would be upon every every young person old person in between father that 
you would search the hearts and minds and those that are not written in the Lamb's Book of Life, that you would go hard after them. Even at this moment, Father, that you would wake someone up if they're sleeping or give them a thought, give them a conviction, Father, to turn to you. Give them something, Father, a dream, a vision, a supernatural encounter. Put a person in their path, send labors to the harvest. I ask that you would rise up a, a burden in the hearts and minds of the people to reach those that their names don't really this book of life. I ask that your servants, Father, those that their name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life would reach those people. You'd give them a burden to to reach those people now before it's too late, Father. We just ask, Father, that you supernaturally allow your word to appear where it needs to appear, where it hasn't been. And, Father, we ask that you would reach those, Father, that need to be reached, for the hour is drawing close and we see the need, Father. We feel the urgency and we ask that you would leave the 99 and go after the one right now, Father. That you would knock on the door of their heart, Lord. Please, we beg you, we plead mercy, grace. We acknowledge that your word says in Exodus 34, in chapter 34, that you visit the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and to the fourth generation. So, Father, we ask right now that you would, in wrath, remember mercy upon especially these young people, Lord, those that have been led astray. Please, Heavenly Father, we ask that you would appeal to someone right now that their name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Father, please arrange divine encounters, circumstances, obstacles that will lead them to you. Take away anything that would distract them from knowing you, that would... Um, hinder their ability to come to you father and we come against the kingdom of darkness that is continually whispering lies and doubt and deception to the minds and hearts of the people that their name is not written in the Lamb's book of life and we command every enemy to scatter and flee from off those that their name is not written in the Lamb's book of life and we lose warring angels in these matters and we command those enemies to scatter and flee by fire and by force through the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach, by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. And we just lose the blood of Yehoshua over their mind. We lose the blood of Yehoshua over their heart. We lose the blood of Yehoshua over their soul. Thank you, Father, that you love them, that you care for them, and that you're not willing that any should perish, but all should come to the saving acknowledgement, acknowledgement of your Son and receive him by faith into their hearts and to walk in a relationship with Him and with you. Father, we ask that you remove relationships, remove people out of their life that would not bring forth fruit in their lives. Father, we understand, Father, that the enemy has many schemes and plots to keep people in bondage and oppression. But we come against it, and we ask that you would set those free that need to be set free. Remove all desire for things that would be the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. Father, we ask that you would break strongholds, and Father, cast down the imagination of every high thing that exalts itself against you and against the knowledge of your Son. Father, please, we ask that you would knock on the door of the hearts and the minds of the people right now, Father. Reveal yourself to them, your great love, your mercy, but also that you are just and that there is a time for judgment, a time where every man will stand before you. Please, Heavenly Father, we're begging, we're pleading, Father, for even even one soul because of this prayer to go to you, Father, to, to be able to um, encounter your love, encounter you, and to make a decision for Christ. Father, even five, Lord, we're believing for big things, Father, through this prayer time. Believe that there will be fruit. You said without faith it is impossible to please you, for he that cometh to God, meaning you, Yahweh, must believe that you're a rewarder of them that diligently seek you. And Father, so that's what we do, because we love you, because we love your creation. We care about the things that you care for, Father. Our heart grieves for the things that you grieve for, and you grieve that souls are going to hell, and so we grieve as well. Father, please, we see the hour is near. Please, Father, save souls in Puerto Rico. Open the hearts and minds of the people. 
Give them a holy conviction. We loose the spirit of revival. We bind the spirit of slumber. We bind the strong man, the strong man of the ground, underneath the ground, the strong man of the air, the strong man over the waters. And we loose the spirit of truth. And we loose the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Thank you so much, Father. We seal up these petitions in the name of Yahushua, by the blood of Yahushua, with the seal of victory. We seal up these petitions in the name of Yahushua, by the blood of Yahushua, with the seal of victory. We seal up this petition in the name of Yahushua, by the blood of Yahushua, with the seal of victory. Again, we seal up these petitions in the name of Yahushua, by the blood of Yahushua, with the seal of victory. We seal up these petitions in the name of Yahushua, by the blood of Yahushua, with the seal of victory. We seal up these petitions in the name of Yahushua, by the blood of Yahushua, with the seal of victory. Lastly, we seal up these petitions in the name of Yeshua by the blood of Yeshua, the seal of victory. We ask that a scroll in the heavens be written with this decree and that your angels would move forth through the land right now, ministering to the hearts and minds of the people, and that warring angels would also be released to fight against the kingdom of darkness that is holding people of destiny in captivity and to loose them and set them free. Thank you, Father. We seal up this again. In the name of Yahushua, by the blood of Yahushua, and we pray all these things in, in your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Bye.